Why is this air so spicy? Hey everyone, how's it going? Robert here, and welcome. This is a game I've been meaning to play for quite some time. It is called Iron Lung. Maybe you've heard about it, it's been out for a little bit, but I haven't gotten to play it, so here we go. Decades ago, every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling, survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons lit by the ghost light of vanished stars. One such moon holds a strange anomaly, an ocean of blood. You are a convict, tasked with exploring this anomaly in a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you will be welded inside, and the forward window will be closed. There is no time for trading. As successful, you earn your freedom. It, uh, it sounds like a death sentence. <laughs> Beginning a descent. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. Alright, and we're going deeper, but why do I see bubbles? Approaching in maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. Closing porthole shielding. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> Alright. We're starting to lose rate of signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so risk thing and be careful. You're on your own. Good. All right, well, here we are. <laughs> uh, in briefing. Oh, deep, geez, okay. Okay, two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration of Moon AT5 for the first time since the Quiet Rapture, leading to the discovery of a fourth blood ocean. A trench beneath the ocean surface has several points of interest. Your task is to photograph these points of interest with the SM-13's forward camera. Photos must be taken within two units of the specified position and 10 degrees of the specified angle. You can also use the camera to help you with navigation. Only photos are taken at specified points of interest will be saved. Since you can't navigate by sight, pay attention to your coordinates and consult the map. The proximity indicators next to the subcontrols will trigger if you're getting close to an obstacle. Good luck. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Where are we? 182, 116. Uh, okay. Well, 182, 116. Okay, we're kind of like here-ish. Uh, I guess so let's go up to what? What are we going to say here? One, 175, 200? <laughs> um. Oh, jeez. Alrighty. Okay, what did I say? What did I say this was? Why is this? Okay, okay. So we are def We are going up to two hundred Y. All right. So we're gonna be in for a treat here. So we're kind of angling a little bit that way. Hopefully not to crash into anything. I I'm seeing how this is going. I'm seeing how this is going. This is um a little bit different than. Okay, I did say 200. All right, we're gonna put up to 200 and... All right, so we're starting to get a little two over there. All right. So what do we have here while we're waiting for that? Unless I'm already there. All right, looks like we have uh, some sticks and debris. We have a computer here, though. This is not an expedition. It is an execution. When they put you in here, they don't want you to return. And even if you do, even if they keep their promise, what freedom waits you? A few days, oh man, a few dying ships in a sea of dead stars. 
If there is still hope, it lies beyond the veil. Hope in this void is an illusionary as the starlight. I will choose to breathe my last here at the bottom of the ocean, unseen, unheard, uncontrolled. They will get their execution. I will get my freedom. All right. <laughs> Not sure I like that. All right, so let's uh let's actually see. So we have this guy here. It was at three twenty two one eighty six. Um. All right, so. Okay. Oh, man of my dumb man. I cannot do calculations at all. Jeez. Okay, so 186. So we should actually be going up this way a little bit. Have you guys seen anything about this game? I know it's been out for like a little bit, but I have not... I mean, I have seen a few things about it, but not nothing too much. But I have been excited to play it, because there's been a lot of, a lot of people talking about it. Okay, so we are starting to approach where we're supposed to here. Dang, yeah, we're... Okay, here's six. Okay, we just have a... Uh, that... That crackling noise. Uh, okay, 33. Let's just go ahead along the X here. I am, I think I'm looking away from it now. Yeah. Let's actually turn around completely. We should be smack dab, like, staring whatever this is. Three twenty two. Ah, that would explain it. All right, sorry you have to deal with me doing this. <laughs> we are near it, and I really doubt it's play matter that we're looking at. So I think I have to turn back around. What is, what is that? What do we got going on here? I think I'm actually starting to figure it out. Oh good, we got it. Look at that. Easy, too easy. <laughs> All right, uh, it looks like bones. We have very large bones. So 263, so we'll just, just do that first, go into the Y. So I'm pretty sure I could just go straight up from where I was at, which is great. Okay, and yeah, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. Okay, let's go up at an angle a little bit. 378. K, 
Okay. Somewhere around here. Did I get the ankle right? No, of course not. 378, 263. I am very close to it. And this is hard for me to visualize. You guys, if you've seen other videos, you're probably like, man, is he dumb? And you're, prob you're probably right. I mean, if this wasn't so terrifying. I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, let's, um, I feel like I'm not alone. Okay, it looks like we have more bones, but there's still stuff going on here. I wonder if I have to turn around completely to see what's down. Maybe I'm like, it looks like bones, maybe I'm like in between it or something. Good. Look at that. We got it. Whatever that is. More more bones. More bones. Okay. 259406. Okay, so let's angle us this way. I feel like we're being hunted. They did get the atmosphere just right. That is, uh, that is pretty good. Okay, I mean, obviously it's nothing. I didn't catch anything in uh, my front facing cam. So we are a-okay. All right, so we're probably gonna hit some stuff here later. So let's just angle it a little bit more. Oxygen notification. Excuse me? What is this? Query. An unexplained phenomenon that has been identified on four separate moons since the Quiet Rapture. Moon AT5 and Moon Z8 are the most notable locations as they are under control of the COI. Enough research has been conducted on the blood itself to determine that it is indeed human blood, but we have not discovered where it comes from or how it keeps its liquid form. The ocean on AT5 is of particular interest because redacted. Who doesn't love a good redacted story? Um, I think this is where we're at, right? Entry has been redacted. Blood oceans for more information. Uh, let's see here. Moon Z8. Uh, the quiet rapture. Whew, man, if, did you want lore? Because we, we're getting a lore. <laughs> In 3... 57 EIC. Without any prior warning, radio contact with their respective planets was suddenly cut. Nobody can recall having visual contact with any planets in the incident occurred or experiencing any other unusual phenomena. So it's uncertain what exactly might have happened. Upon observation, ooh, sorry, sorry. Upon investigation, it was observed independently by several stations that there had been previously been planets nothing remained further investigation over the following month revealed that all known planets with sentient life flora fauna and habitable atmosphere or any sort of natural resources were likewise gone along with all known stars the only celestial bodies that have been found since are either uninhabitable moons or asteroids many theories have been proposed for this disaster including religious interpretations of it as literal rapture some unknown quantum anomaly, anomaly, or something cosmic and sinister. There are no concrete answers yet. What is EIC? Oh man, we just keep going. Epoch of 
Interplanetary Colonization, or EIC, is an interstellar calendar standardization adopted with the establishment of the first off-Earth colony on Mars in 1992, AD 0 EIC. It was and is the predominant calendar used throughout the known galaxy, although before the Quiet Rapture, many debated switching over to a more standardized measurement of years, IMC, or Interstellar Martian Calendar, was especially popular owing to a large population of residents on Mars. After the Quiet Rapture, all stations and starships alliances still use EIC aside from Eden, which uses IMC. Uh, the COI considers Eden a threat to all collective well-being after the attack and kill of the station. Jeez, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot here. The Consolidation of Iron, or COI, is a brotherhood of three space stations, two spacecrafts found on the principle of collectivism, enrolled by the popular vote of all civilians, numbering 257 at the time of this entry. Its name comes from the iron and steel materials its two main stations are constructed from, and the principle of unity of togetherness in the face of menace from other surrounding stations of Eden. All right, well, we might come back to exploring all this stuff here, but let's let's actually go ahead. We're getting close, 259 and 406. Um, okay, so we are going down, which is good. So we actually might be at a pretty good angle for uh, figuring out what this is. Okay, so that was probably this little blip. Okay, so 259, 406, and saving progress. I don't like that. Okay, so 259, 406, so we're almost there. What is that noise? Something's going on on the outside, and I don't like it. Unless it's a ship turning. Alright. We're pretty much darn near, darn near on top of it. Can't tell if that's more bones or what it is. And I'm bad at like spatial things, so this is a. Uh, not great for me figuring this out. Although it definitely does sound like I'm being hunted. I don't like that. Um, yeah. Okay, so sticks, I doubt that's that. I am doubting that is what we're after. What? Okay. Okay. Yep, that, that does it. We have uh, dangly, dangly worm things, huh? Don't know what that is at all. I don't know if I want to go back the way I came or try navigating up and around. You know, let's try navigating up around this way. Why can't, it, why can't I not mark it? Uh, so let's go 448 and 310. 448 and 310. I should say 310 and 448. Don't worry, I can get away. I got this. Definitely don't want to die. All right, so I must be like here. Let's go down. What in the world? Where am I? All right, let's do uh, let's do 360 and 
Okay, I'm at 370 here, right? So it's probably about here. So then I want to travel down to three something here. I'll take a photo. We'll see, we'll see what we got. Nothing. Getting close to here. Probably about 3.30. Okay, well, I think we can actually just go scoot in there. And where are we scooting? Probably about five something all right I think I'm probably gonna be editing a lot of this stuff out just because uh no 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 get away and what is that why why what is why no 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 I don't want to be stuck down here here we go again, saving our progress. You know what? This is kind of going down anyway. What is this? 277, 560. You know what? Let's uh, let's truck it, truck it both ways here. But so far, this game has like a very nice concept. I love the lore in it. The fact that it's like we have a rapture going on, and humans are. I guess if they travel to space, I don't know if they found any other type of, like, Martian races. Anyway, we come to a point where we need to find resources. Which is completely realistic, especially if the Quiet Rapture happened, and then there is nothing left. Oops, I, I keep doing that. Let's go back. Um... No, why am I, why am I... I should not be near anything at all. That was, that was something that was close. That thing was close. Whatever that was. Again, I am loving the atmosphere. It's very nice and spooky. All right, and uh, uh, what am I doing here? No, no, no. Okay, 560, and... Okay, so we have 60, and now we just need a little bit of Y. Actually, to go backwards. Boom. Boom. Uh, I can't, I literally can't orient myself in this thing at all. <sighs> Turn around, because it's probably right there. Okay, we're, we're getting close to looking at something, but what is it? What is that? What is that? It looks like a giant fish head. Okay, they they said I didn't get it yet, but it is a uh... Okay. All right, you know what? Let's um let's actually do this and go up a smidgen. nothing. If I got my coordinates right, it was nothing. Alright, so 613, 197. 
613, 197. And again, like this concept, it's like the controls are very basic, but great. I mean, they play a lot into, look at this. And the fact that you can't like see anything, like this is my home. This is, uh, I'm a convict and this is my house. Welcome, welcome to my crib. <laughs> All right. Excuse me? 613, 197. Alright, so we should be sitting right on the other side of it. So it should be. Wait, it should be like here, I think. Why can't I not get this? Trust me, I, I'm okay at a submarine. I mean, this this is just a one-off. You could you could trust me. You, you could trust me in a submarine, right? Whew. How did that not do it? It's clearly a skull of some sort. Let's get let's get a little bit closer. Is that what they want? Look at that. There's like a few more there. Okay. Uh, okay, that picture did not suffice. So let's go up a few more seconds and we're turning this way to hopefully make the game happy. Come on! It's a. Uh... Spooky. That is spooky is what it is. Let's go back and angle a little bit differently. Unless that's not what we're supposed to be finding. You know it's right. You know it's right. You know what? It's because I'm not in the coordinates. It says 613-197. Okay. So I am on 613. I just need to go up. Uh, 197. Not a whale. Okay. Alright. Alright, so this little hole. Let's say... Okay, 775. 275. 775. 275. If it's not a whale, then what is it? Because we probably were like... Like that. Alright, um... Where are we? If that, that keeps happening. Is that a wall? That little blip doesn't make sense. Alright, let's just go straight down. I'm definitely threading the needle right here. I, I don't like that. Is 
We got this. We got this. Barely. I'm gonna have to come back out of here, though. All right. Uh, eight six four two five eight. Okay, eight six four two five eight. Yeah, I guess they're both kind of an equal drop. Alright, yeah, don't, don't like that. Um, pardon me. So what was this? Two, six, four... Two five eight. Man, am I dumb. Should be in front of me. I was about to hit the wall. Should be. I got it. Well, what? The, what was it? I don't even know what it was. Okay, so I have to get back out of here. So I think. Let me legit just back out. But at an awkward angle. <sighs> it kind of breaks the tension a little bit. Jeez. I mean, not really breaks the tension, just builds it like crazy. Alright, let's go down here. 550, 200. Now, you know what? Let's, let's actually just keep going up. I mean, I think it'd be kind of neat being in a submarine. I've never been in one personally, but I think it'd be kind of neat. Not this one by any means, but just one in general. I feel like I'm hitting that. So let's, um, 537. Where's my Y? 378? I guess that makes sense. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to be weary of that also here. Okay. So it should be right there. Okay, maybe not yet. X550 something. I don't know, like 556. Okay, at least that one's like not in the little hideout too much, you know, it's kind of a good good spot. Alright, but let's see what it is. Okay, uh, okay, uh, 520. Something is out there. It's hunting me. I don't want it to hunt me. Alright, so 520. 623. Alright, this should be good enough. Take a photo of it and get out of here. More bones. Are we just trying to prove that there is life on here? Because, I mean, bones doesn't really seem like there's a bunch of life, right? That means dead things, typically. Whew. All right, so three more, and we're just gonna skirt straight across to three, or, yeah, maybe 300, not 300, maybe like 340. Excuse me. Alright, so what did I say like 530 or something? Yeah, 
Yeah, like right about there, I think. Yeah, just for safe measure. All right, so we should be 536. I have a long way to go. That was, I was taking three something. All right, I'll, I'll see you guys in a moment. Oxygen notification. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little spicy down here. Why is this air so spicy? Here we go again with the saving. I shouldn't even be near anything that's... 369, that's probably... You know what? That might actually be it to kind of, or marker to go up. Not bad, I mean, we're not doing bad, you know? You're, uh, you're here on this journey with me in this little tiny rinky-dink iron lung. Okay, they seem to be pulsing at the same rate. Look at that. We did it. So we're somewhere up here. Should I go over here or should I hop right there? Um, I mean, regardless, I'm going to have to like hit it up anyway. So let's do 250 and 650 around. Ooh! Oh no! Oh no! I was... I, I, how long has this been going on for? No! Oh, man. Okay, all right, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Whew. I was completely unaware. Why was it catching fire? I, I, did, I, I was not gonna turn around for a while, if I'm being quite honest. Whew. Yeah, we make good uh, crewmates. I'm glad you told me that fire was raging right behind me. I never would have noticed. Okay, again, we're gonna be threading the needle. You know what, what's that noise? I have not seen anything else out here, but you can't convince me that there isn't. Six fifteen two hundred. I don't like that gurgling noise. This is a tight, tight 180. What is that noise? It just keeps happening. Can this end? What is what is going on? Take a photo. Take a photo. What the star? I doubt that's doing it. All right, this ain't this ain't looking too good. Eighty five seventy six. Is it the star? 180, 576. Okay, so 180. Uh, 
I am tripping. Okay. I I mean my my thoughts exactly. It was the star. Um any uh, further insight on that? You gonna you gonna look into this a little bit more? Eh, I'm just gonna gonna jingle. All right, you know. You know, let's just go backwards. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you do your star thing underneath the blood ocean. And let's actually just turn straight around entirely. Get out of here, jeez. Pardon me? What? Did you see that? It just like, hit something and just stopped. Alright, well, uh, regardless, I'm going to, uh, 660 or something? Oh, 664. And we are at two. Wait, how are we at 280? I don't remember navigating myself out this far. Um. Okay, uh, I mean, let's go a little bit more X then. For those watching that are currently back to school, one, I'm sorry. Two, who would have thought you watching my videos would be math? I didn't. I didn't think that <laughs> by any means at all. But here we here we both are. Seven forty one. Oh man, we got this lined up perfectly. Look at that. Mm. Oop, did I say seven forty one? Man, why is it so hard to remember? All right, let's do that and a little zippity over there. We have to be looking at something here. All right, more bones. More, more bones. More bones. All right, it looks like we have another skull thing. Uh, 325, which we are, and 741. All right, so let's actually subtract a little and go up. Make them happy a little bit, right? Uh, let's take photos. Let's see what we have. All right, uh, I know it's the bones, and I don't know why they don't want to give it to me. Good. We got it. More bones is what we came here for. We actually have one more stop. And that is far away. Alright. So we're going to go down. Let's just say 700. Uh, 700. So let's just 680. 680 and 500. 500, 680. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so that's kind of down to the angle from where we're at. All right, another saving progress, and I think I said 500, 680. So we're gonna lay off that a little bit, just so we can kind of get to the 500. Ooh, no! What in the? What? 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 Do I drive? Is this a chase? Am I blind? Those were eyeballs. That was the, not, that was a single eyeball. <laughs> I'm being hunted. Mm, 
Okay. Oxygen notification. What does this mean? How much life do I have left in me? Uh, what is this? 550, 700? Now oh, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Almost exactly to where I was saying. 550, 700, right? Okay, yep. Um, and we're only here. Uh, okay, so... 560, 700. How are we there? No! No! When did this happen? How are these things so subtle? They don't even know. How do I not notice the fire? How do I not notice the blood ocean coming in my iron lung? Um, you know, let's, let's actually look up iron lung, you know, while we're here, right? One of four in-service underwater crafts fashioned by the COI for use in conviction realization in the blood oceans. It is designed for deep liquid photography and analysis. Redacted. All rumors of the SM-13 and similar crafts being used for so-called mob justice by the way of forced suffocation or otherwise have been proven false. You know what? You know, I have a note here that proves otherwise. I think I do have very limited time left. Okay, uh, 7, 760. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. I have one last one. I should not have read that entry. Why do I even... Why does it even matter? I mean, I'm just gonna die in here. So why do I... Why do I even... Why do I care? Okay, so we're definitely, like, the top of here. So we have to go over to... What is that? 650? So how many blood oceans have you been to? I personally have been to none of myself, but, you know, to his, his own. Not too many of them around, from around here, you know? I prefer the normal oceans, but that, that's just me. Okay, what is this? 675... 675, I guess, a little bit this way, and that way. Oh wait, I said 675 and 828. <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> that got really intense at the end there. Jeez. Man, they really have you focus on that spot. And by that spot, I mean I was really trying to get there before I was drowning from the blood ocean. The expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. Satellite images showed pieces of SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench, as though it had been torn apart by some huge beast. The wreckage cannot be reached at this time. No photographs have been recovered. The stars shine pale as bones. The moon is a lifeless corpse. Is the ocean... Oh no, I wish I had more time to read that. You could pause it and read it, I guess, internally. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed it. That is Iron Lung. And I will be getting to the other game soon that I have on the list. But I want to thank you for watching this one. Let me know what you thought of it. I thought it was actually really good. It had very good lore of what happened to Earth and how humans colonized on other planets, star systems, until the Quiet Rapture happened. And now we're trying desperately to find resources. But apparently we have jobs for convicts to go into these blood oceans for expeditions. It's a shame that none of my photos made it because I took some glorious photographs of the objects of concern, of interest. Especially that star. That was actually... That was that was concerning and interesting at the same time. Alright, but that was Iron Lung. Thank you again for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. I thought it was a great game. Fantastic. 
And the ending, the ending really spooked me. <laughs> I was not anticipating that happening right then and there. All right, but thank you again for watching. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>